Hi, welcome back to Tammy Talks About. So today's video is going to be short, nothing really, really major. Well, there's major hearing going on today, but I'm just going to give you some quick updates and that'll be it for today. But before we jump into today's video, of course, as always, if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking, anything you'd like to talk about, whatever. And of course, as always, share these videos. And thank you. While this is a short video, I'm going to take an opportunity and say thank you. I am continually overwhelmed by the support you give me and it is so amazing and it's very humbling so thank you very much so let's get into today's video so we're just gonna do a couple of quick updates but I thought this was so cool um, I'm gonna put the picture up right here and as you'll see from the picture, this is from Unbox PhD. He has a YouTube channel here. And if you're not aware, he is the gentleman that is um, protesting outside of Warner, Warner Brothers Studios in Livingston, I believe is the name of the place. But he put this tweet out. It says, thank you for your donations, which has led to another Justice for Johnny Depp banner at Warner Brothers Studio where... Jason Momoa and Amber Heard are filming, filming Aquaman 2. And he does have a link for his GoFundMe in this tweet. And I will try my best to leave a link to that. I might screw it up. I'll just be honest. <laughs> Y'all know me. I am not tech savvy. But I will try to leave a link to his GoFundMe in my description. And then we have an update from the real Laura B. Um, and now this hearing will be taking place today as a recording, and it's July 22nd, 2021. It's um, 5 3 in the morning. I'm about to go to my IRL job, so I have to record kind of early. But she tweeted this about nine hours ago. So it's actually, instead of tomorrow, today is the hearing on the plea in bar dismissal. The demurrer took four months for a ruling. I am sure Judge Azacarde will be very thorough and detailed in her ruling. This is another big one. And she was wishing Ben Chu well. And she left a link in here. And I thought we could read some of this. This is from her motion. And <laughs> it's just... Okay, plaintiff's motion for sanctions relating to defendant's supplemental plea and bar. Plaintiff John C. Depp II, by and through his undersigned counsel, pursuant to section blah, blah, blah of Code of Virginia, hereby moves this honorable court to impose sanctions against defendant A.H. based on her improper filing of her supplemental plea and bar. A memorandum in support of this motion is set forth at pages 22 and 23 of Mr. Depp's opposition defendant to plea and bar. The court should sanction Ms. Hurd for filing her frivolous plea. At the conclusion of the hearing on May the 28th, whoops, I hit that, on Ms. Hurd's motion for leave to amend her answer and plea and bar and stay discovery, the court, after no, nothing that on first blush the requested motion does appear to be futile, stated as follows. So what am I going to do? I'll grant the request for the supplemental plea and, plea and bar for a motion to dismiss and grant the to allow the amended answer on and grounds for defense. I will not, however, if it does come after everything and that I am right and that this is futile and not based on any sound legal basis, I mean it will be sanctionable. I just want to make sure we all understand that. Despite the court's admonition and in defense of the same, Ms. Heard proceeded to file on June 14th a brief in support of her new plea and latest set of further amended pleadings that lack any sound legal basis, which the court should sanction her. And then we have another thing in here. The pleading, uh, well, let's see. Applying this statute, the court should sanction Ms. Heard as it was clear from the beginning that the lack of mutuality of the parties in this action and the UK action doomed 
any just res judica, collateral estoppel or com committee defense. And what this plea is, is she is saying that since NGN won in the UK, well, Johnny's case should be just dropped because, well, she won in the UK. What her and so many others keep forgetting is that she won nothing. NGN won the lawsuit, yes, but she was a third party witness in this. And so I think it does say in here, or maybe when I was reading through some other stuff just to make sure I was thinking of the right thing, they didn't have the same discovery options for her in the UK that they have here because she was not a she was not part of that play of that hearing she was a witness it's just like if you or I I don't know saw a wreck and we went to court and testified for one or the other of parties involved in the wreck well that wreck wouldn't be on us we would be a witness, and that's what she was in the UK trial, but yet she keeps trying. This is, what, her third or fourth time that she's trying to um, trying to get out of this. Sorry, it's not going to work. And then I've got one last thing that I wanted to read that I felt was rather important. This comes from the right side of the Roaring Rapids. Sobering stats like these reveal that we can't believe women. We can't allow these movements, misandrist, fourth wave feminists to oppress, marginalize, emasculate, silence, exert power over men while touting their mantra, turning a blind eye to women that make false allegations of abuse toward, uh, or abuse men. And then she has these statistics. One in three women and one in four men have been in abusive relationships. And one in five women and one in seven men have faced severe physical violence, sexual violence, and or have been stopped causing injury, fearfulness, post-traumatic stress dis disorder, use of victim services, and or contraction of sexually tra transmitted diseases. One in 10 women and one in 30 men have been, the R word, but we're gonna say attacked by an intimate partner. 19% of domestic violence involves a weapon and increases the risk of homicide by 500%. One in 15 children are exposed to domestic violence each year, and 90% of these children are eyewitnesses to this violence. Studies show that between 40 to 50 percent of domestic violence is suffered by men, often at the hands of female perpetrators. A man is violently assaulted by his wife or girlfriend every 14.6 seconds. In the United States each year, it is estimated that between 700,000 and 1 million men are falsely accused of domestic violence, sexual violence, and child abuse. Those are very sobering statistics. But it, she, right side of the Roaring Rapids is correct. We can't just hashtag believe all women. We have to, we have to become a society that understands that the violence could be perpetrated by either partner. You know, feminists have always claimed they want to be treated equal to men, yet in this instance, they don't seem to want to be treated equally. I personally think we should be treated just as equally. No matter who you are, you have no right to put your hands on another person. It's plain and simple. And then to have the audacity to accuse that person of what you've done to them and then try to destroy their lives because of your greed well, in my book you get whatever you deserve and you deserve every bit of it and more but those were just the updates 
I just thought I would uh, talk to you for just a few minutes. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. And as always, until next time, be blessed. Thank you.